Okay guys, I am back and uh, cool day. So based on my last Kubi review, Kubi asked me if I wanted to look at another one. So I said, hell yeah, I do. I love these things. So if you if you remember the last one I looked at being a higher end model came with a, a big box, a nice fancy pouch and everything. This is geared more towards Kubi's budget friendly line. The model we're looking at today is the KU203. Um, so this one's kind of a back to basics for Kubi. Um, doesn't mean it's bad, it means it's a little bit more affordable. So let's get into this. Now they sent me three because it's available in three different colors. So they sent me one of each so we can take a look at all three of them. How cool is that? They're an awesome company. So I cheated a little bit guys, I did. I got so excited. Now I, I had intended to do this video before everybody in my family started to die and become zombies with this flu that's going around. In the meantime, I just couldn't wait. I opened this one up. I carried this one. I used it in the shop a little bit. I made it my EDC for a while. Um, this is the OD green one. So these ones I haven't seen yet, the black and the, the antique white. Um, but I have actually carried this one around. So this is one where, you know, it's not just me looking at it right out of the box. Um, which I like to do because I love to give you guys my, my honest first impressions. But even when I first opened it, I said, oh, it's a, honestly, you know, I said, oh, it's a bit small. Hmm. But let's take a look at it. Um, you guys, you know, I'm, I'm always kind of talking about my big hands and feeling like a knife disappears in it. Um, but there are some times where you, you want a smaller knife. And this seems to be a great option. So... Let's just go ahead, let's check out the blade. Now, like Kubi's almost their entire lineup right now, um, great bearing system, great detent flipper, just flies right out there. I gotta tell you a funny story though, when I was looking at the specs, I, the, I just, three CR13 jumped out at me and I was like, oh no, with that exact voice in my head, oh no. Um, but that is only referring to the glass breaker on the back. So you can use that um, as a lanyard hole, you can, you know, clip that onto something. You could use it as a glass breaker slash temple smasher, whatever you want. Your back spacer is three CR CR13. Your blade is D2. Stainless steel liners, uh, and then really nicely done G10. Like I said, in your choice of three different colors. Uh, again, honestly, in my big hands, took a little bit of getting used to to uh, get the flipping action right because I'm just I it's. It's a little difficult with my hands on a little knife, but I found out that if you just rest the uh, glass breaker end right against the, the meat of the palm of the hand and just hold it there, perfect for getting that flipper out. No problem every time, every single time. So really interesting blade shape. While it's, it's not the biggest blade in the world, you've got a nice straight flat edge for those kinds of task utility tasks. Um, so, you know, press it down against something to get like a good firm cut, but on your, your forward edge, it almost is like the belly of the knife. Um, and between the two of them, you can get some good slicing done on this thing. Um, comes out of the box, razor sharp. I've already done that. We'll do the edge test on one that's brand new, no, though not one that, you know what, we'll do it on one that I've carried around and used not that often. You can see a little bit of use on the blade. A little tiny bit is gonna show up, but not too much. Um, of course, small, lightweight, but Nice accent on the little things, like right there, making it so that you have access to sharpen the entire length of the blade. If they had just finished that flipper up there and didn't give you that little bit of a choil, you would you'd have a hell of a time sharpening that little corner right there, and you might miss some of the edge, so that's cool. Jimping up here doesn't do a whole lot. Um, it, you know, it does what it does. Um, but it's there. Um, you can still get a pretty, just from the, the design though, you can get a pretty good hold on this thing. Um, really good jimping actually on the lock over there. So when it's in your hand, um, between the little bit you have over there, the choil that you have to put your finger in and the jimping, it doesn't want to go anywhere. Clip doesn't bite in really at all, not at all. Um, and I know there are people out there that like a smaller blade even though I'm a big, big blade kind of guy. Nice little accents around the pivot, just to give it a little bit of style. I bet that's gonna look really nice with the black. 
I'm going to have to address this also with another review I'm doing. I don't have it with me, but, you know, somebody out there is going to be saying, oh, but you didn't like the Battle Box Knife of the Month because it was so small. This is a lot bigger than the Knife of the Month. A lot more comfortable to hold. A lot more comfortable to hold than the Knife of the Month was. Um, and your blade is quite a bit chunkier, too. So, like I said, G10 is done really, really nicely. Um, inset steel liners there. So, keeps the width nice and slim. Um, I, I love a steel backspacer. That's like stability and that's strength to me. A lot of companies uh, are putting in, you know, like all the steel liners and the G10 and everything, and then the plastic backspacer. I hate when they do that. So, let's use this to open up the other ones that we have here. That one, one, and then two. I'm not sure what we have first here. This is gray, which I think is the antique white. So, it, honestly, to me, it looks a little bit tan. I don't know if it could be antique white. Yeah, I can see it. Antique off-white. Um, again, so I, you know what I actually kind of like? If you look at the, the G10, it, it almost looks like a light sort of wood. But, you know, all the same features. This one actually has action even better than the uh, OD Green one does. Bearings on, on Kubis are really, really nice. And then let's take a look at the black. It's amazing how just changing the color of the G10 can kind of change the whole look of the knife, you know? Well, that's... I'm glad it does, because that's how I make money. Um, yeah, it's almost like customizing a knife just by picking a, a different one out. Um, the color really does make a difference. It does change the whole look of the knife. So three different color options, depending on, you know, what you like. I think they're all pretty cool. I mean, my personal favorite is the OD Green, because I always like OD Green. But the Antique White looks nice. Um, gives it more of kind of like a, a rustic sort of look to me. The black looks very business-like. Um, I, I hate to use the word tactical because it's way overused. More of a tactical sort of look. And I like the OD green because I just, I really love the OD green kind of look. Uh, you know what I wanted to check out? Let's look at the, the, yeah, that blue with the black looks really nice. Um, lock up on all of them looks... Pretty good, pretty even across the board. Right, uh, like all of your lock is on the blade, but still very early lock up for all of them. Um, centering on all of them. And it's nice that we have three to test, so it's like, you know, you, you get a good look at it. It's not just one knife. Um, tiny, tiny bit off on this one. Perfect on the green. Perfect on the black. So two out of three. Pretty good. Um, the action, like we saw. I, You know, I don't know if maybe the action is just because it's been in my pocket. And maybe it's gotten a little bit of pocket lint. Maybe it just needs to be blown out a little bit. But, I mean, right out of the box. These things are awesome. Somebody explain to me why automatic knives are illegal when manual knives open that fast. Seriously, I don't get it. I, I can 100% with honesty say that whenever somebody tells me they don't have a big budget to spend, but they want a good solid knife, Kubi is always on my list of recommendations. Um, and I recommend other companies too, um, but Kubi is always at the top of my list. And I, I have yet, for real, for somebody to say that, listen, I, I took your recommendation, I bought a Kubi and I didn't like it. Um, I have comments all over the channel on, on all sorts of videos, videos that have nothing to do with Kubi, where they say, hey, I took your recommendation, I got a Kubi, I love it, it's amazing, thanks. This is one of those brands that first keyed me into the fact that um, there are some really good companies in China really trying to change that thought that knives that come out of China are, are just crappy knives. Um, there are, you know, more and more every day, but this was just one of the first ones that really kind of, for the price and the materials, and the ruggedness of, of their knives and the use that I've gotten at them. I love Kubi knives. I do. And I've been saying that long before they sent me some samples to look at. So you guys know it's like a true statement.
I am very grateful that they sent me these to look at. And here's why, because I'm going to keep one, but I'm going to put two in the giveaway. But if you want to pick up one of these right now, there's going to be an Amazon link in the video description. And for a limited time, there's going to be a 30% off. I think these are normally $39. But fit and finish on these is all, I mean, they're all great. Um, every single one of them, I mean, everything is really, really nicely done. Um, the balance on them, yeah, it's a small knife, so you wouldn't think about balance and everything, but still, even that, in your hand, you, I mean, it, it's hardly in there, you know, like, it, it's just, it's just there. Um, what I've been doing with it is, I've been carrying around the shop, and this has been my, you know, cutting the hydrographic film, uh, cutting cord when I need to, um, just my kind of everyday utility knife. Um, I have not sharpened it since I got it. Like, I haven't taken out and done rugged hard use, but with a D2 blade, if you needed to, you could. That's that's the beauty of D2, those carbon steels. They hold that edge. You just got to give them a little bit of maintenance. But let's test that edge out on all three of them right out of the pack. I believe this one is a creeper. I know my Minecraft stuff. All right, so let's start with the one that I've been carrying for just a little bit. And I always have trouble doing small edges. I always end up leaving some of the paper there, but... Very nice, very nice. Okay. Let's check out our antique white. Oh, there is a, a bit of a difference in the brand new out of the box. Um, or maybe it's a difference in these two knives, I don't know. I mean, you can see the, the green one slices, but it has been used for various things in the shop for a couple weeks. Eh. This one feels about the same. Maybe this one is just, you know, every once in a while, one is finished just a little bit better, a little bit nicer. And that antique white one, man, it was like, boom, lightsaber right through the paper. Um, let's do the cord test. Start with a pull through. Wow, that was, that was pretty nice. God, I hope I got it on camera. I'm always, you know, always looking at the knife and never looking at the view screen on the camera when I do these. All right, ready? That was awesome. You know, might as well do the slice. I mean, I really don't even need to do the slice. It went right through, but yeah. And, uh, not that I have any doubts that this is going to do the pull through like nobody's business. Slicey wicey. Boom. Sound effects. I always tell you the sound effects super important. Makes everything work better when you do the sound effects. Yeah, when you do the slice on these, it's like the the cord barely moves. It just it goes right through. I think these are great additions to the Kubi lineup, especially for folks that might need to follow some smaller blade laws or just want a smaller, you know, light thing in their pocket. Um, I was kind of surprised how much I liked a smaller little blade like that, um, especially for but what I'm using it for, you know, especially for that, it, it worked out really, really well. So this is another one that I would definitely recommend if somebody asked. Uh, would you carry it yourself? Yeah, I would. Um, I, I would and I have put it in my pocket and walked around with it and actually put it through its paces. Um, it's a very nice little blade. Now the floor is open to you guys and your thoughts. What do you think of it? Something that you would carry? And you know, here's the thing too. At $39, that's actually, even though that's, I think, a good price for this, I would pay $39 for this, that's even an expensive Kubi. Like, uh, I mean, that's, it's not one of their high-end ones. Um, but while they got their 30% off, might want to jump right on that. So anyway, the, uh, like I said, uh, Amazon link is, uh, in the video description, a link to Kubi knives in general, just to take a look at all the different stuff they have. Although if you search Amazon for Kubi knives, you'll find quite a bit. And I'm, I'm still planning on getting some more of their higher end knives to take a look at too. Spend some bucks on that and, you know, see what else I got. Cause the last one was really cool. So I'm going to hold on to Mr. OD Green right here.
because me and him, we have some, some history together already. But um, black and antique white, they're going to go and give away. If for no other reason than to get uh, more of these knives in people's hands and um, kind of let you all know that China is not just putting out the, the m -techs and the TAC forces and, and the Ridge Runners anymore. You know, they're putting out, some companies anyway, are putting out some really good stuff. Um, and I used to be someone who kind of bashed on the Chinese-made knives, but, I mean, these companies are really stepping up their game. All right, guys. Tell me what you think. Remember... You are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.